Hello everybody and I hope you are all doing well and you are healthy. As you know, the whole world has changed since 2020, including education, presentations, meetings and so on. One of the outcomes is that we now have a virtual orientation session instead of an on-campus orientation. So everything is changing and of course engineering is also is changing. And today I will discuss mechatronics, which is the engineering of the future. So let's go back to the basics and to ask what is engineering? Engineering is not to go to a four or a five years program and study many courses and get good grades and then get your diploma or certificate. This is just the shell. So what is actually the core of engineering? It is really in one word, innovation. Now, now look at the nice things at the screen uh, from the smartphone to the aeroplane. If you think these are good enough and you don't want anything new, I mean, if we are happy to use these for the rest of our lives and even for our children and grandchildren, then there is no need for engineering because there will be technicians, workers, robots who can build these things forever. So what is engineering? As I just mentioned, it is really innovation. It is making things better and making things that don't even exist today. Even things that no one can imagine yet. So this is the core of our profession and that's what makes engineering exciting. As a result of engineering innovation, uh, um, world is changing and engineers are really in the driver's seat for all the changes that are happening in this world. Now, if you look at the future, what do we see? The things that shape the world actually is uh, artificial intelligence, which is cross-cutting technology, and it's making its way into everything. Things are becoming smart, and they will even uh, get smarter. So this is one thing. Another thing is uh, integration, okay? And that is any product can be combined or integrated with an emerging technology or cross-cutting technology, and immediately it becomes a new product. Uh, let us think, for example, about the iPhone revolution, which was nothing more than marrying uh, several popular features into a single device, like, for example, a white screen, a touchpad, a cell phone, internet, and camera. All of these technologies did exist on their own. However, by seamlessly integrating existing technologies in one device resulted in this groundbreaking technology innovation. Another quick example of integration is the electric car um, with photovoltaic technology. So for example, putting PV panels on the roof of the car and hence the car can be charged while driving or parking. So integration is the name of the new game and this is where mechatronics plays a uh, role here, okay? So, so what is mechatronics? Um, we can easily realize that anything mechanical now is really becoming electronic. It has the mechanical parts, the electronic parts, and the software parts, okay? You can also realize that almost everything now involves at least some of these uh, technological uh, trends from AI, Internet of Things, sensors, technology, augmented reality or virtual reality and virtual reality, software, cybersecurity, and of course, control systems. So these are like the new language, the new norm which makes modern uh, devices. So this where actually the value of mechatronics uh, uh, occur, okay? Because now in our uh, department specifically, in the GUC uh, mechatronics engineering department, you will develop a creative mindset and mental elasticity to be able to invent, discover, and produce original ideas. And this is the value of mechatronics, again, as I said, where the final product can be optimized, okay, cost effective, and even better than what exists, which what we call the whole is greater than the sum of its parts. So we, at the end, we realize that we have optimized products with synergy. So what really um, are the key elements of mechatronics approach, okay? Uh, in this simplified block diagram, we can see that uh, systems, which we call here also plants, systems, plants, or even processes, all of these are synonyms. 
examples of which can be uh, autonomous vehicles, uh, renewable uh, energy systems, uh, power plants, uh, industries, factories, and so on. Where this, and hence, all of these requires uh, physics to understand and be able to um, uh, write the governing equations, but I don't want to get into uh, the details now. Uh, here, the plant or the state of the plant can be measured using uh, uh, sensors, various sensing technologies for feedback purposes. For example, you can have a computer vision and uh, so many other um, uh, sensor uh, technologies like inertial measurement units or gyroscopes and infrared sensors and so on. Okay, uh, this data. Okay, so data here requires data scientists and being able to deal with data and so on. This uh, data uh, obtained provide uh, feedback to the controller, okay, uh, which um, um, you need to design. And this uh, controller can be implemented using embedded systems, okay, cloud computing, uh, machine learning, and artificial uh, intelligence. So therefore, you will gain many benefits, which include acquiring wide range of skills, which qualify you to have an innovative uh, mindset. The mindset will enable you to be always updated uh, with the technological trends and hence to be always fit for the job uh, market. Um, it always feels inspiring to reach something big from the basic principles, right? So this is how we do it here in our teaching in our mechatronics department. Our curriculum is based on the four main principles of physics plus of course mathematics, which are uh, mechanics, thermofluids, electricity and magnetism, and lastly, oscillations, waves, and optics. These main fundamental principles lead to a more specialized layer of knowledge and principles like uh, uh, computer science and engineering, control systems, and embedded systems, for which the applications of mechatronics engineering emerge, uh, including, uh, uh, but not limited to robotics and automation systems, uh, uh, renewable uh, energy technology, uh, power systems and smart grids, as well as uh, sensors technology. The international job market of mechatronics engineering jobs is growing at a rate of uh, 7%, and its graduates have a 100% placement uh, rate with an estimated global median annual income of $90,000. Uh, moreover, this chart shows the market size in billions of dollars of mechatronics and robotics courses globally, which signifies the importance and the role the mechatronics department in terms of global markets, human capital uh, requirements. Uh, the mechatronics department at GUC offers two programs, uh, the bachelor and the master's programs. The bachelor program consists of four years, um, the first two of which cover the core requirements uh, of mechatronics, which includes uh, general engineering fundamentals and general engineering uh, courses to give the student as wide overview of the basic concepts of engineering. The following uh, two years cover concentration uh, requirements of the program, and that includes concentration uh, courses in semesters five and six, uh, um, and then uh, followed by advanced courses in uh, the seventh semester. Consequently, the student is well equipped with the skills and knowledge by then to start working on their bachelor uh, thesis at one of the research labs uh, and use all of the learned skills and knowledge to contribute to the mechatronics various research directions uh, by applying the uh, engineering design uh, process. Um, since research is the source of development of nations and countries, uh, GUC has invested into its master's program, which provides academic excellence in the field of robotics, autonomous systems, sensors technology, and renewable energy, with the aim to prepare graduate students for careers in industry, academia, and uh, research on the local, uh, regional, and global levels. The two-year program has two semesters dedicated to advanced courses, um, uh, completion, which includes course, core courses and elective courses. The second year is mainly uh, dedicated to working on the physical research uh, project and writing the master thesis in a quest of publishing in top recognized conferences and journals to contribute to the chosen research direction in the scientific uh, community. 
um, being focused on equipping our graduates um, not only with knowledge but also with the skill sets which as i just said became um, uh, very important as the job market has become skills oriented uh, we um, 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 provide our students with these values the, th the three main pillars are the uh, personal development design and implementation as well as research and critical uh, thinking okay so the skills that can be acquired from the uh, first pillar here is teamwork decision making individual competency and communication okay and the design and implementation we uh, 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 coping with technological trends the application of the engineering design process as well as hands-on experience in our laboratories the research and critical thinking uh, 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 we uh, analysis and synthesis are learned in all of the courses problem solving as well as the involvement in scientific uh, activities uh, uh, hence you not only have acquired knowledge but also the skills that you develop and thus can compete uh, not only on the local uh, but also at the uh, global uh, level um, as a continuation of providing our graduates with advanced, competent, technical, practical skills, a wide range of applications are taught to the students during the program uh, to equip them with the tools the job market uh, needs. Uh, some of these programs related to mechanical uh, uh, design, uh, including SOLIDWORKS, uh, AutoCAD, uh, ANSYS, uh, for the product design, development, and analysis. We also focus on programming and computation, and some of the taught programming languages are like MATLAB, Mathematica, uh, Python, uh, as softwares for uh, computation, uh, data engineering, and visualization. Uh, regarding the embedded programs, uh, we uh, do like Arduino, uh, uh, Micro C, uh, LabVIEW, um, and so on, and MPLAB are all part of the uh, groups of programs the students use to actually get tangible results putting uh, IoT and mechatronic systems into action. So um, again, putting IoT and mechatronic systems into action leading to a rapid prototypes of control systems. Uh, programming languages and programs including uh, uh, C++, uh, Java, and uh, OpenCV. Uh, since mechatronics is interdisciplinary, electronics programs uh, uh, are taught including the 20SIM, the Protus and uh, NI Multisim. Okay, these are used for complete circuit design, simulation, and implementation of uh, PCBs, printed circuit boards. Finally, part of the industrial automation programs, the students have the chance to learn and use with hands-on projects, uh, flesh to fluid sim, uh, automation studio, and Enco to actually transform ideas into realities using CNC machines and industrial robots. Um, since GUC has been committed to providing excellent top-notch research facilities, uh, we paid great attention to building research labs and groups in multidisciplinary research directions which cope with the current global standards and meet uh, world's pressing needs. In the coming slides, I'll be talking about uh, the department's labs um, in a fast pace, but you are very, uh, we, you are very welcome to uh, go and talk to the professors of the department that they will be gladly helping you. The first step that I'm going to talk about is the uh, medical micro and nano robotics lab. And this lab is mainly focusing on using different types of nano and micro robots in potential biomedical applications like uh, targeted drug delivery and clearing blood clots. The uh, control and dynamical systems lab research focus is uh, on control of dynamic systems with the current application focus on robotic, mechatronic, and renewable energy uh, systems. Okay, the group's interdisciplinary work is located between multi-physics modeling, analysis, and embedded systems engineering, as well as control theory. The uh, research vision of the Aratronics Lab uh, is dedicated to the, the development of novel microsensors for measurement and control. Uh, the research in the Aratronics uh, Lab is centered on three foci, basically uh, micro-optical sensors technology, uh, biomedical instrumentation and robotics, as well as neuroscience and electrophysiology. Uh, the Multi-Robot Systems Lab objective is to conduct research in mobile robots, autonomous vehicles, multi-vehicle systems, sensor fusion, and perception. 
and they newly introduced direction to the research group, which is soft robotics field. The renewable energy group cluster focuses on aspects of renewable energy resources, uh, including modeling and simulation of energy systems. And great emphasis is placed on optimizing existing systems and developing a new efficient systems. Of course, GUC has the 0.7 megawatt solar city, which uh, you cannot find anywhere else. Uh, also, uh, we have a research direction in uh, smart grids, and the research direction are big data analytics in smart grids, uh, e-mobility, okay, as well as modeling, control, and verification of micro uh, grid systems. GUC also has the industrial automation facility uh, with so many labs. Actually, we have the flexible manufacturing system, and the lab is equipped uh, with milling and turning. Um, uh, industrial machines, as well as a six degrees of freedom industrial uh, robot. Also, the hydraulics lab is equipped with different varieties of industrial components for students teaching and research uh, for industrial hydraulic applications. We also have the modular production system, which simulates real industrial production lines. Um, uh, different applications could be learned here, such as networking, as well as real production line operation and uh, commissioning. We do also have the uh, IHA lab, which is in cooperation between GUC and the International Hydraulics Academy in the area of training and research, especially for heavy uh, applications. We also have the pneumatics lab, which is equipped again with different varieties of industrial components uh, for students teaching and research. We also have the process control lab, which implements feedback control for different types of industrial processes, as well as the uh, PLC lab, as well as the sensors lab. Uh, we do also have the industry park, which uh, includes three global uh, factories, which are Pelder, uh, uh, Trumpf, and DMG Mori. And the factories uh, help the students and researchers and research groups on campus to truly apply the engineering design process and enable them to produce real scalable solutions and uh, products. Uh, here is a glimpse of what you are qualified to do uh, after you graduate from our uh, program and you have the uh, potential to work in many fields like um, uh, robotics and industrial automation, uh, AI and industry 4.0, uh, manufacturing technologies, embedded systems, automotive, renewable energies, uh, autonomous vehicles, and so on. So the sky is the limit, actually. Um, another collaboration we are proud of is the uh, Remina uh, program, which is in uh, partnership with the University of uh, Kassel and the uh, DAD. And the program mainly encourages students to pursue an international master degree in renewable energy, which is the main focus uh, of uh, GUC uh, and the mechatronics department towards a more sustainable world. Um, as you know, GUC has always been a leader in promoting German education in Egypt. So a major part of GUC strategy is to encourage exchange students um, uh, uh, and exchange programs to our graduates. And actually, our graduates have become well known for being caliber candidates for employment and uh, research. So uh, 153 students in the past, during the past three years of the mechatronics department have conducted actually their bachelor thesis uh, in collaboration with one of our partner universities uh, like uh, TUM, um, Aachen, Dresden, and uh, Dortmund. Furthermore, a total of uh, at least 6% uh, of our graduates managed to work in leading industrial and research entities globally, globally uh, which uh, shows the quality of our uh, graduates. Um, finally, or almost finally, uh, we are grateful to uh, have various partnerships with the industrial sector uh, with over 50 plus uh, partners, uh, international, national, and uh, regional partners like ABB, uh, Schneider, uh, Siemens, uh, uh, Valeo, Henkel, Unilever, and so on. So all of these uh, companies uh, feel confident about the quality of our graduates, uh, trust their uh, capabilities, and are actually willing to invest uh, in them. And uh, actually, through the past uh, years, um, uh, we have a strategic partnership 
to uh, further improve the educational quality and the exchange uh, experiences. So many ex exchange programs, uh, site visits, workshops, and collaborations with different uh, universities across the uh, globe has been made with over uh, 20 plus uh, partners uh, in research and academia. Of course, uh, comes first uh, Stuttgart, uh, Ulm, Aachen, and Dresden uh, universities. So the uh, last word that I would like to mention before uh, finishing is that smart people will always be in the uh, driver's seat. And if you are a mechatronics engineer, then you will be definitely uh, one of them. So I thank you for your attention and I wish you all good luck and I hope to see you all soon in person.